Let's learn about the tree hole nesting birds. First, the primary nesters. The birds that excavate these holes and do all the hard work themselves. Let's start with the barbets that have strong heavy bills for pounding and chiseling at the hard wood. The sharp point of the bill does get worn down during excavation, but the keratin of the bill quickly grows back. This black collared barbet is removing wood chips from the cavity that he is excavating in an upright tree trunk. This bird will fly off with these wood chips and dump them far from the nest so that there are no telltale signs showing the presence of their nest. This is their predator avoidance tactic, leaving no trace of the nest anywhere nearby. This acacia pied barbet has excavated a deep cavity in the sisal pole and it uses it every year in the southern Karoo. The nest is on the underside of this leaning stump so that rainwater can't enter the hole. And this pair of acacia pied barbets have excavated a nesting cavity in the soft wood of a prickly pear, also in the southern Karoo. And the other primary nesters, the woodpeckers. This female cardinal woodpecker isn't bothering about flying off with each load of wood chips. She is just tossing them behind her. The male also just tosses the wood chips. These bearded woodpeckers make a neat round entrance hole to their tree stump nest. And this female Nasna woodpecker is using an old nesting hole, probably excavated by black collared barbets, yet they are able to excavate their own nesting holes. And this male olive woodpecker is feeding young chicks. They normally excavate a new hole each season, sometimes in the same stem as a previous year. This is that same nesting hole that I've just mentioned. Then we have the secondary nesters. These are birds that are not able to excavate their own nesting holes because their bills aren't strong enough. They use old woodpecker or barber holes, or they evict other smaller occupants of nesting holes, like the smaller woodpeckers. This pair of black-bellied starlings have nested in this hole before, and this is the pair checking out the hole to see if it is occupied at the beginning of the breeding season. And this is a few weeks later when they were feeding their chicks in that same nesting hole. And this is a Cape Glossy starling checking this nesting hole to see if it is occupied. It is a slightly bigger hole, so I suspect maybe African scops owls must occupy it because these starlings peep in briefly and they always leave quickly. And this hole is occupied by olive woodpeckers, yet the Cape starling came to see if the nesting hole was available. It watches the hole for a while, but then decides to fly off to look for another nesting hole. This common starling is cleaning out a nest that has just been used by other common starlings. Their chicks have just fledged. Common starlings are always on the lookout for vacant nesting holes. This one is bringing food to its chicks. Southern grey-headed sparrows also nest in old barbet or woodpecker nesting holes. 
This pair are checking to see if the nest is vacant. This great tit in the southern Karoo has found a nesting cavity that has a neatly excavated entrance hole. Probably an acacia pied barbet made that hole. This male African hoopoe is coming to feed the female in the nesting cavity. It is a downward pointing nesting hole which was excavated by woodpeckers before. Some nesting cavities have more than one entrance hole, like this one. This male green wood hoopoe tries the lower hole but sees the chicks aren't there. So he goes to the other hole and feeds a chick there. This nesting cavity actually has three entrance holes. They serve as escape hatches. When snakes enter one hole, for instance, they flee out of another hole. And this is the nesting cavity that they use every year. Hole 1 is seldom used. I've seen them enter there once before. Hole 2 is the main entrance and exit hole. And hole 3 seems to only be used for when they deliver food to the chicks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and post any comments down below.